Well, now, this is one little machine that I really do want to show you. It's a revolutionary new machine called the Apple Macintosh, which only came out in January. And it's even usable by computer illiterates like me, because it doesn't involve a keyboard necessarily. It has this little thing called a mouse here. And you have an arrow on the screen. You can just actually go and get things from the screen visually. And it will allow you to find out what you want to do without ever having to hit a key as such. Dave, it looks fun, and it seems fun for someone like me, but is it more than just another gimmick? A, a gimmick is not what I would call it. It's a, a desktop productivity tool, a way for an average office worker to use his time better. Sounds a bit like a gimmick, a desktop. You know, I mean, it's a bit jargonese. Isn't well, it? everybody puts it on a desktop, I suppose. You put it on the floor, but it's essentially just a tool to increase your working hours pr productivity. And you can actually draw on it, and you can do all the other things that a normal computer does on it. Yes, except that it's all done with the mouse and an arrow, so that uh, you can just point to what you want to do. It's pictorial. Things that are of the convention that you already know about when you use it. And it's very easy to learn to use. Yes, it takes about 20 minutes to get a bit of a grasp of the mouse and the arrow on the screen. And maybe in another 20 minutes, I could have you creating a little drawing or a memo, something that could be of use to you in your job. Now, this is basically another version of the same thing, what they call user-friendly equipment. This is user-friendly, friendly to people like me, not because it has a mouse, but because I can use what's at the end of my arm, my fingers. All I have to do, for instance, to access a personal card file is just touch the screen and ask it to bring it up. Now, this particular card system, I think, is Mike Stevens. This is your Yachting Association's right. card system. What's the point of making the screen touch sensitive? What's well, the, the idea of Stuart is to make it easy for people who've never used a keyboard before. Someone who's, who has no experience of typing can simply take at the screen and just make it happen. Why not use a mouse like the Apple computer? Well, we, f we feel that the finger is, is easy to use. You're born with a finger. Uh, you certainly weren't born with a mouse. And uh, we simply poke and you get Bob and Irene Hill. It up it comes, and it'll now show us what their information is. So we've got Bob and Irene Hill's address the and everything. Address, I hope yes. they don't mind us seeing that. I hope not. But if you're a doctor, you know, or, or ran a garage, that's, this is the application for you. You don't need to know about this. Could you load up multi-plan, please? Could you show me the price spreadsheet? Could you move up? Could you move down? Go to row, seven, tab, four, return, six, seven. Roger, that's fantastic. Uh, are you simply replacing the keyboard with your voice? Yes, I am. At the moment, uh, the system here allows for keyboard replacements through voice and will also allow for in the future system, which is available, uh, voice out of the application. It'll be able to talk back to you. Talk back to you. Tell you what you're doing wrong, and you can reply to it. <laughs> now, that really is 1984, isn't it? It's getting very close. <laughs> What's the point, though? Why, why do you want to do away with the keyboard, or the touch sensitive, or the mouse? What, why just go with voice? Can't it get confused? Uh, no, not really. If you record your voice, you have a set vocabulary, just as your English vocabulary. and system can understand those vocabularies only. So if you're talking naturally, it's not going to pick up any stray bits and pieces unless they actually do match up to what you have recorded. Well, as you're talking now to me, if in the course of your conversation you said something that it recognised, it would react to it, would it? It would react to it, yes. Well, can you give me an example? Let's say uh, it'll print something, won't it? Yes, I'll just cancel this one, please. Cancel. Could you print that for me, please? Well, it's still pretty chaotic now, but tomorrow this personal computer show will be fully operational and they'll be ready to flash their floppy disks and model their modems for you. It's a measure of the rising level of public interest in personal computers that this show exists at all. It's a show now just like any other, the motor show, the boat show and all the other trade fairs. 
And the fact is that people are accepting that computers are rapidly becoming part of their everyday lives.